Hello, and welcome to Third Time's the Charm, a Thief 2 fan mission by Jason Otto. Uh, as usual, doesn't have a separate briefing video, uh, pretty typical for small missions, so let's read it out. Two months ago, a fellow thief and friend, Gaston the Red, took a job from a collector. He never came back. Recently, another thief took the same job and also never returned. Now the collector has come to me to finish the job. He's looking for some rare Hammerite artifacts. Outside the city is a Hammerite monastery, high on a cliff. The only way in is a single elevator controlled from the top. With the Hammerites on high alert, infiltrating the monastery may turn out to be the easy part. While I'm there, I have to locate the High Abbot's One for the Collector. While I'm there, I can also pick up a few artifacts for myself. These Hammerite monks have a rare copy of the Scriptures of the Master Builder that any book collector would pay for. They're also protecting the Hammer of St. Marcarius, a founder of the monastery. It's a highly valuable relic and worth the risk to steal. Another valuable artifact at the monastery is the Violin of St. Humphrey. Its sound is unmatched and any music collector would pay handsomely for this instrument. While I'm there, I should also find out what happened to Guest on the Red. Another thief who I liked dying on the job doesn't sit well. Of course, I should redistribute any other valuables I found around the place to myself. When I'm done, I'll make my way back to the cave I started out in. These Hammerites have been robbed unsuccessfully twice. They're sure to be on high alert. Hopefully for a highly skilled thief, the third time's the charm. Let's begin. It's just loot goal and a uh, number of guards. Difficult. Okay, the high abbot's wand is highly valuable. Find and steal it. Another thief, Gaston the Red, never came back from this job. Find out what happened to him. The monastery has a rare copy of the scriptures of the master builder. Find it. Take it. You know, you know the, the drill. St. Macarius founded this monastery. His hammer is a holy relic and very valuable. Find and steal it. St. Humphrey's violin is kept in this monastery too. Its sound is unmatched and it is invaluable. Find and steal the violin. And these monks are pretty wealthy. Steal 2100 in miscellaneous loot. And uh, return to the cavern you started in when all other goals are completed. Do we have a map? Oh, we do. Uh, Abbot's chamber is at the top. Monastery is above the cliffs. Okay, the only elevator in, which is controlled from the top, they said. And we have a very nice layout of the monastery. It kind of gives us uh, an indication of uh, what's on each, each floor. That's a surprisingly detailed, I guess. Uh, I suppose the Hammerites probably make these detailed maps and uh, people steal them. They've got a dungeon, prison cells, and a monastery. Well, I guess the Hammerites are probably not happy without some prisoners. All right, I guess we're going back out this way when we're done. What's this? A little dark spot for me to hide in and review what equipment I've got. A scouting orb, two tranquilizer darts. Interesting. A flask of flammable oil. A square tooth lockpick, a triangle tooth lockpick. A gas bomb. A fla two flash bombs. Sorry, two gas bombs. Two flash bombs. Four flares. A uh, compass that's a little hard to read. Am I facing east right now or am I facing west? Am I facing north where the letter's backwards or am I facing south? I do prefer the traditional compass, but uh, I guess I'll manage. I can I check this map again. Starting cave. So I guess once we get out the gatehouse, I'll be able to figure out which way the compass actually works. Let's start. I've got my sword and my blackjack. Six broadhead arrows. Six water arrows. Three moss arrows. Five rope arrows. Two noisemakers. Well, yeah, oh, maybe we're already coming out the gate, the gate house here. I say the uh, rope hand arrows should be useful. Oh, this is the elevator, this is the only way in, that's right. Uh, um, considering this was also an entry for the so called vertical contest. Um, 
rip arrows should hopefully be a, a lot, give me a lot to work with. Should, this mission is likely to have lots of verticality. That's a really nice view, looking up over the uh, up to the uh, bulk of the monastery up there. So this elevator is only oh hello. So some uh, moss crystals, also oddly different, makes them hard for me to recognise. But okay. This elevator is controlled from the top. Can I, uh, a little hard to see what's wood and what's not. Is that a wooden platform? I think it is. Let's see if I can get a rope over there. Indeed, I can. Who needs an elevator? I did hear footsteps earlier, I do wonder if they're coming from up here. We don't want to run into hammerites unexpectedly. Well, I'll bring the elevator up. Okay, don't jump when you can climb. I don't know if there's anything behind there, but it doesn't seem to be. Well, that's the elevator at the top in case I'm going to need it for a, uh, an escape later on. Seeing as I do need to go back to the caves I started in. An escape might be uh, the preferred way of analysis. I hope he doesn't try to come into this corner. How did you see me there? It was dark. Fall, yeah. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Uh, yeah, alright. Come on. Kill me. Kill me. Thank you. Now I can quick load. Well, I guess he comes in and out of here pretty quickly, so let's follow him instead of... Uh, trying to get ahead of him. Yeah, he turns around instantly there. That'll teach me to work about. Like, I don't have enough water arrows to waste, like, two torches side by side. Oh god, a noisy gravel. I wonder if there's anything in the water down here. Hmm. Seem if not. I can't even tell the difference between these flooring types. That's uh, inconvenient. I like to have an idea of where I'm gonna encounter noisy floor before I encounter it. He's coming back again. Perhaps he will not see us here and destroy us as he did last time. There's another one. Are you just gonna stand there? You're not just gonna stand there, are you? Am I gonna have to throw uh, some water arrows in your direction? Or can I get up here somewhere? 
Don't see any wood. And the other guy's coming back. This is not entirely promising. As long as he doesn't walk too close to the fence, I might be alright. I guess I'm gonna have to, just gonna have to uh, throw those water arrows. Good news is this guy's not going to see me here, so... So this fellow I have to worry about. Now, like, my... Oh. Light gem there looks ridiculously bright, but I don't know what kind of light level it maps to. Actually, like this, it still seems pretty bright. Thou canst build a chapel with twigs and moss. Tis not right to live in trees or caves. I thank thee, O Builder, for showing us the way. Those who adorn themselves with God and finery do mock the builder who maketh their forms, and will they regret their choice right, well, when the end comes? Someone in here, but they don't seem to be coming into this room. Well, let's sit in a relatively dark corner, and uh, I think that's a good place for a hard save in case I mess up very badly again. Emerging floor. Now, I can see a couple of alcoves with banners. You know, I don't know whether that's important or not. But, um, as we know, all banners must die. And some banners hide secrets. Let's take the rope. In case anyone does come in here, I don't want them to see it. I don't know if that one also hides a passage, but uh, if only one of them does, then I picked the right one. Actually, this is the main entrance, right? So, how's the map? Okay, so I'm facing south now, and facing north is when it's this way around. Uh, it's really going to confuse me because pointing down for the direction that should be matching or pointing up on the map. But never mind. So this is heading west. So I guess... To store the stairwell... storage room then. So 
There's someone coming down the stairs, isn't there? Oh, indeed. Looks like a priest. God, can you guys not chant over the top of each other? It's most distracting. Right, so there is somebody going up and down the stairs here. I don't really have a plan for where I'm going at the moment, I'm just kind of feeling my way around. Uh, so we're at that western stairwell and this room runs east. This looks like it runs south. Well, the top floor leads to the abbot's chamber. That's surely not up here because this looks. It's not the abbot's chamber. A few too many bunks for one abbot. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon. With which we carve a path to oh, there you are. future. Well, maybe it is the abbot's chamber, mate. This fellow looks a little bit abbotty. Does so he have something on his belt I can is our shield take? That protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon. Ground floor gates key. Well, I'll take a key for sure. What have we got? Tis difficult to see the lock built within the base of the statue. Tis so deep within the base that a special tool is required to reach it. I have the correct key in my tool chest. Tis the only key we possess. Recently repairs were completed to the mechanical lift. I dropped my tool chest behind the generator. I shall retrieve with not the correct key easily, and believe that its current location maketh an excellent hiding spot. Alright. Crank key, so that's the main lift. I don't have an internal lift, right? Or do they? It could in there, but it doesn't it doesn't really look like it. Um Which actual node space? There's an actual node space, it's right on here then. Uh Opens base of statue. Seeing as I can't actually pick up this. Can't actually pick up a note. Oh. I don't suppose I can uh, walk across this tightrope. Can I? I'll make an excellent screenshot, but um, you know what? I can. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Everyone seems to be uh, very on edge, or my light gem is very uh, misleading. Stop staring out the window, man. I need to come in there. <sighs> Very sudden changes in light brightness. I'll take the cheese. The scriptures of the master builder is a most holy codex. Two thieves hath tried to rob us of this term. For safety, the codex hath been hidden away in the library in the secret nook. 
Though the nook can be locked, it is secret and shall protect the scriptures. Care to protect the codex is the charge of all brothers. Increase thy patrols of the library during thy guard duties. <clears throat> So, uh, chest there protected with some kind of spell, it would seem. You don't, you're not the abbot, surely? Brothers, I believe that the most recent thief in our midst did, midst did to make away with the key to mine storage chest. The magical protection around the chest allows only he who holdeth the key to unsecure the lock. After our morning vespers, we shall scour the monastery to retrieve that key. It is an impossibility that it hath gone far. The thief's remains be in the dungeons. A careful search of his cell may reveal the key. Okay. Dungeon cell with thief has key to Abbot's magic chest. And what was the other one? Uh, Codex is in the secret nook in the library. Uh... Well, I mean, we're getting lots of very direct hints as to where the stuff we need to steal is. Come on, sit in the darkness, not in the bright light, which is very hard to tell the difference. And you have a key on you as well. Chambers key, so you must be there, but okay. who is there? I hear thee there. Dang it, Garrett, can't you just step down two inches without making lots of noise? Now I'm gonna have to wait for him to go around again. I could always knock him out. Oh, I still need to pick the lock on his on his desk there. Because Garrett seems unable to step down two inches without sounding like he's uh, jumping down from a, tall, from a height onto a wooden floor. So much for being super stealthy. Oh, mine, okay. In uh, Deadly Shadows style. There's a bunch of audio lines that the uh, hammers have here, also from Deathly Shadows. Basement treasury key. All right, that sounds good. Okay, if we're in the abbot's chambers, um, then. West will take us to the study hall above the library. All right, we we'll want to go. Does he have anything of interest on his uh, bookcase here? Would not appear to be so. That's protected by magic, so we need the key. Well, they'll take the piles of money. That's for sure. Uh, from a distance, I thought those were just uh, stubby candles sitting on there, but nope, they're piles of money. They didn't. Did not strike my eye as such. My eye was wrong. Is that somebody guarding the abbot's chamber here? No, oh, wasn't locked. That is somebody guarding the abbot's chamber. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. So first of all, I'm hearing, are they coming or going, or just going, I think. Vigilance is our shield 
that protects us from the squalid past. Halt! Thou art not granted this place. No. No, 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 no. No, don't hit me. Dang. Well, I thought I could get past him without knocking him out. Um, I was wrong. It's either too light. I guess I could have used I could have used the tranquilizer. I don't know. I have no idea what the uh, flammable oil is for. Although I suppose seeing all the other deadly shadows pieces in here, I inspired things. I guess it's for putting on the floor and setting light to. Okay, well. I don't like this. I don't like this HD uh, light gem at all. I can't read it at all the same way I'm used to. You look just like the abbot. Are you his twin? You're walking on very quickly here. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens and Rules of Contact, Volume 108. Mortar cannot hold when the stone is not strong and clean. Before beginning thy endeavours, look to thy material, both physical and spiritual. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens and Rules of Conduct, Volume 7. When the builder walks before thee and builds for thee a fortress, wilt thou go inside and shut the door? Or wilt thou say, yes, and now I shall raise one of mine own? Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Resumes, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 94. Guard thy tongue from falsehood as thou guardest thy purse from a jack-a-blade. Guard thy hand from misdeed as thou guardest thy house from firelighters. Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Resumes, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 36. Time once passed, the harlot did say to the priest, Tarry a while and wait upon thy duties. And the priest did tarry. Well, these are more pages too. And then was the harlot scourged with birch branches, and was the priest crushed beneath the great gears, for the path of righteousness leads ever upwards to where it is perilous to fall. Right, where am I now? Heading south from... That's the study hall. There isn't anywhere south. Where am I, go or am I actually going? Oh, going north. I told you the compass was confusing me. I have to... Was he? I'm dying to know. Art still there? Builder, let my hand strike true. Builder in the work I do. Builder, make you shut your face. Oh, is this the same room we were at before? Yeah, okay. So I went up last time and then across. This is the wrong floor for the library, but it might be the right floor for other things. Um, so it's this room here. Or this room here. I'm unclear as to which. Coming this way. <laughs> Alright, it's reasonably dark here. Yeah? Two more torches, and I'm running quite low on fire on water arrows, not fire arrows. For canst not the virtuous man both slay the wicked and preserve his own? I'll see if I can sneak past him when he's uh, back there and facing the other archer. Oh, 
of straw didst see it fall. And the man who has built his house of twigs didst see it fall. <clears throat> but the man who has taken care of the man who built his house of twigs did see it fall? Are you sure you're thinking not of a man, but a pig? Perhaps a little one with two friends? The recent increase in security, it is an irritation. I see not the point of patrolling the dank dungeons all night. It is senseless for a thief to attempt to rob a dungeon full of bones. I would prefer to be in the commons room this evening playing St. Humphrey's violin. The violin has a sound that is unmatched. It is as if the builder himself is playing the violin through mine hands. Common room, common room, violin. I guess I can just mark things on here instead of writing down full notes, right? Uh, there's a secret nook in the library. And... Dungeon cell with thief has key to add its magic chest. Where's the dungeons? Um, key to Abbot's chest. Current key behind elevator generator opens space of statue. I think that's probably here, right? Well, of course, the advantage of writing on the notes page is uh, there's no map to get in the way, but uh, having the actual context is good. Oh. There's a lot of, uh... oh my god, okay, a lot of sound, people talking everywhere and sound is traveling a lot and it's very confusing. Alright, where are we now? Uh, that's west and that's north. We are on the third floor, so that's locked, so we need a key for that. I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously not going to be the ground floor key or anything. We... It's not going to be any of the keys we've got. Is there any way in here? Shit. It's a little too bright in there. Good. Forgetting it is the right thing to do. Still trying, foolishly, to uh, interfere with as few of you people as I can. Oh, there's a reasonably dark spot here, that's okay. No. Uh, he comes back very quickly. He's uh, clearly very anxious about something. He's just pacing rapidly back and forth. rush too much because he does not stay in there very long and nor does he stay in here very long so I might wait for him to come back out of there so that he doesn't come up from behind me it's a little harder to keep track of don't have a hammer. So I shall sadly miss out on my grace. Alright. That is good. We have looted those. 
think there might be enough darkness in the next room. Perhaps. Against his false friends, calling out to the builder to save him. And was he saved? Where's that story again? You're still not telling me whether he was saved or not. Alright, lots of candles. You guys are really profligate with uh, Max. Alright, oh, we're here again. Well then, I can travel upstairs from the study room, or is this, gonna, this just takes me back to the abbot's chamber. It's no good for me. It's not anywhere I need to be. Alright. Um, so, I've done a full circle here. I guess. Oh yeah, there's the bunk chamber at the top there, alright. Um, there is a key here on the third floor we need, but the stairs down is to the north, so I guess that's where I'm going next. Once this fellow has come and gone again. takes us to the bunk room. Alright. Now somebody does go up and down these stairs, I think we found. Did we not? Or maybe not these stairs. Maybe a different set of stairs? Oh yeah, this is... Hang on. This is not the storage room. We're, we're only on the second floor. So I guess the stairwell does not continue down, and that is literally a storeroom. There must be another stair. Where are you going, sir? Staring at a brick wall. I suppose that must be a penance for the... or some such. Stare at the bring brick wall and hum the uh, hymn of Saint Brick. It was the door opening behind me magically. Alright, so this is the library with the secret nook. Alright, maybe I'll stop in for a little light reading. Yeah, good idea, Garrett. Alright, well, there's darkness here, which will get me downstairs, but, uh,. And I'm wondering is where the secret nook would be hiding. There doesn't seem to be a lot of potential space for one. Maybe behind that bookshelf there. This guy does not, does not leave the room for very long. So unless I want to be, you know, impatient and knock him out. Blackjack happy. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Hello, where's this window go? Well, I cannot. Oh, yeah, I can crash. Hmm. Is there a wood up here, probably? No. So, while I could get out there, it would probably not be able to get back again. Oh, hello. Secret nook. Behind a enormous swung bookcase. Oh, you saw something. Well, I think we shall have to uh, not be there.
teeth must I calm my nerves. Yes. <laughs> my nerves are not calm at all. Right, we got the scriptures, so I can take that off the map. Let's do another hard save because I don't do them often enough and I usually forget and I suddenly thought of it. Well, I hope that does not destroy me. Thou mayst hide for a moment, but not forever. Uh. 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 Barely noticed that. Dang. You and your pivot. Thank you. Well, it seems like no one else heard him yelling now, so, uh... Is that the dungeon? We don't have a dungeon key. Or is this the ground floor gates key? Okay, it is. Okay. I thought, it meant, I thought that meant the front gate. Oh, these are the... Oh, this is the front gate. Um, there is a poor fellow who now cannot get through on his path because he does not have the key that I picked from his uh, belt earlier. So he's just stuck there, hasn't really noticed yet, whistling as he goes. Where's the darkest spot here? Probably here. Go up against the wall. All right. What have we got here? The Prayer of Consecration. O Master Builder, we ask thee to bless our brother who hath died in thy service. Forgive him the transgressions of his living days, and look with favour on his works in thy name. Plumb and plain, fire and forge, purify his spirit, and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home, where he may rest in peace eternal. And Brother Muris will disappear. Okay, so that's the ground floor. Gates. The main gates here, yeah. Uh, no, this gate. Wait, I'm confused. This is the chapel, clearly. Oh, I thought it was the other end, so... Nay. You know what I need to do? Yay. Who comes unto me? I need to let him out, because otherwise he's just going to be here guarding this place. Then he can go back. And trouble me no more. Stay alert, brothers. Twice in recent months have thieves attempted to rob this monastery. We shall increase guard patrols at night and keep lit as many candles and torches as possible so to afford the thieves no shadows to hide in. We have secured our most valuable relics. Do not let a thief take us what is ours. Those who fight undead fall into two groups, the resourceful and the slain. The well-prepared knight will arm himself well with holy water. However, a more convenient tactic, as well as one much less taxing on the purse, is to take advantage of the zombie's antipathy for all living creatures and look for other convenient targets to divert a pursuer. Excerpt from the Journals of Morgan, declared anathema by the Smith in Exile. Hammerhead Compendium of Precepts, Regimens and Rules of Conduct, Volume 39. Hadst I a hammer, wouldst I hammer in the morning, wouldst I hammer in the evening, all over this land. Well, that's an Easter egg from, uh... Which one is it? Strange Bedfellows. Second time you visit the uh, Hammerite place. Got all these feet everywhere, I can't tell. I'm just going to use another one of these now.
What? You heard that? Yeah. I don't even know where you are. Are you upstairs and you... Well... It's a nice wooden beam sticking out there that would not be very useful for anything. I shall rue nothing. I am not a French street. This should take us down to the dungeons. Where, uh. Well, which are guarded, for sure. Where's that basement thingamiki? Basement treasury. Treasury sounds quite good. I hope there is treasure in the treasury. There's at least some loot, which is uh, a lot better than no loot. And there's a leak as well. You really should not let... Uh, you should fix a leak if the, in the treasury. You wouldn't want your money getting damp. You wouldn't want moss growing on your gold. That would be the trickster's work. be something down there. Is there anything behind here? Alright, well, so much for the treasury. Let's check the dungeons. Is that somebody in here that I'm hearing, or somebody elsewhere? Or are we not in the dungeons yet? We came down these stairs. Yes, this is the dungeons, okay. Our stairs are above this area, so I guess I'm hearing people above this area. Wait, where are the cells? Are these the cells? Or is there... A or is there some more to this place? Yes, there is some more to this place. Okay. Now well, I fear he might spy me. Something moved. Thought I saw. So let's just make sure. Common room chest key. That's nice. Maybe I should blame him for the thefts. Ah, oh, they won't believe that he stole everything when he's here, without the loot. But, uh, we can at least play a joke on him. Alright, common room chest key. What was in the common room chest? I uh, thought I'd made a note. The violin. Ah, uh, that's right, he was complaining about having to uh, patrol the dungeon instead of playing the violin. So he, has, he had the key, good. Nobody's in that cell. I see, so the grates we saw in the treasury were just above the cells here. Or above this lower dungeon. Lower basement. Well, that's not our thief friend's remains. Perhaps this one? Do we have a key for the cells? Or are we going to have to go hunting another key somewhere? It's not the treasure room. I don't think any of these are right. So who has the key to the cells? Twice in the last month have uh, thieves broken into our monastery. The remains of the first thief have been sitting in our dungeon so long they have been reduced to bones. 
The second thief arrived only a short time ago. His remains, however, hath begun to decompose. Tis time to remove the bodies for a proper burial. The key to the cells, tis in my bedchamber. Retrieve the key and removeth the bodies by the morning. Chief of the guard. Okay, so where is the chief guard's chief of the guard's bedchamber? Did we miss it? He has a bedchamber all of his own. Huh. It's surely not here in the uh, basement. These are small cells, I guess. Yeah, so there. Uh, gonna need the keys to both these cells. All right. Where to now? Well, we knocked out the guard that's patrolling here, so... Uh, we don't need to worry about him, but I think there's only one way in and out of here, right? What? Did you somehow hear me then? Alright, we can get to the common room because we're the key to the thing there. Um, I just don't know what this room is and I don't have a key to it. We do need to get the violin. We do... We, did we get the key to the Albert's chest. No, it's back in the starting cave. So, if we go back to the north and out the front entrance. Oh, hello. There's doors there and it's all very brightly lit. What rooms would those be then? Those would be the storerooms and the privy. So nobody's patrolling the privy, right? Somebody light a match. Maybe a bad idea. But somebody drop some coins. Guess they fell out of their pocket. And the water arrow is growing in there. Okay. Uh, just hold your nose, Garrett, and uh, they'll do just fine. I'll see if nothing. See? I told you so. Storeroom. Lots of crates piled high. Old furniture. Well, an exciting room for sure. wonder if these crates concealeth Bought. One never knows when a uh, passage might be hidden by a convenient stack of crates. Uh, Brother Reginald, when the abbot tells thee to seal off the hole in the wall. I don't think he means just stack crates in front of it, but you know, Brother Reginald, I'm glad you did. Well, maybe this is just a... What is even out here? Oh, frog beasts, eggs, moss. Yeah, frog beasts. I did not know they would lay their uh, eggs so close to the, uh, the hammers. What's that window there? I guess I could get out there perhaps, but not back in. Perhaps this is the library window I saw. Alright, well, I'm not playing Supreme, I'm not going to put bother putting the crates back. If I was playing Supreme, I wouldn't need to go there. Oh, more moss. 
Nothing. Well, I got more water arrows. Let's use one. Just to avoid spook. Just to avoid spooking that fellow too much. Right. Well, we still have. I'm gonna go back to. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Is not right to live in trees or caves. I thank the old builder for showing us the way. You know what? If I have to go all the way back to the start, then uh, I think these fellows can have a holiday. It's a very full moon. Oddly, the moon seems in front of the clouds. Or is that just my eyes deceiving me? You're a bit off on that low note there. Should get more practice with the humming. Very steep, very steep stairs. It's also very weird hearing Deadly Shadows' voices in uh, Thief 2 with the... Uh, I kind of expect them to go weirdly ragdoll like they do in Deadly Shadows. Just because they've got the voices. Right, so the behind the generator, you say, is where you dropped your thing and it's very hard to get there. Well, I mean, yes, it's just very hard to get there. It's exceedingly hard to get there to the point of seemingly impossible to get there. So I'm crouching here. It's... That's the generator, surely. What am I missing? Is there perhaps a hole in the wall there? If I go down left... Hmm... Maybe there's a way... From here... Climb some rocks and get in. <laughs> Would not seem to be so. <laughs> Although I can climb the roof, apparently. <laughs> and now I am. Um, out of bounds, and do not think I should be here. Whoops. Well, there's my punishment for going out of bounds. Falling back to the start. Losing lots of health. Fair enough. Um, well, one can climb there. Quite easily. Oh, hello. Hammer and a broken sword. I guess this is where they caught the thief earlier. There's a hole I could drop down. Do I wish to? Well, it's leading me somebody someplace I have not been before. Important items to steal. 1. High Abbot's Wand, likely on him or in his chamber. 2. St. Marcarius's Hammer, probably really well hidden. 3. St. Humphrey's Violin, they actually use it. 4. Scriptures of the Master Builder, probably in the library. Alright, so one of the thieves was here. Left his, uh, all his tools here. And uh, his notes. Interesting. 
What is this chamber? What is this cave? With crystals. anything in this cave or is that all there is to be found oh, that's where it came in this hidden entrance go then? And how does it open? It's all very well having a hidden entrance, but uh, well, I'm still using all my flares, you know. I see no switch. No lever. And this is not much uh, Not much use. Am I just blind? Am I missing something obvious? Am I blind? Or is this just super well hidden? There's no way to open it at all. I wish the flares would last more than 10 seconds. It's kind of, kind of terrible. Uh, well, maybe it's a hidden exit. Let's see. It faces west. No, we're facing west. So it's on the eastern side. Possibly of the dungeon area. Uh, it might be that uh, one of the thieves escaped this way and left his notes then. Although, why would you leave your notes? Uh, it was, was this other way? Why would you leave your notes behind at all? Although, maybe he was coming out that way and got caught here. That would explain the wreckage. And the fact that they did actually catch two and put them in cells, but then that can't lead back to the cells. And no, that's uh, that's way down here. Um, where are we? That's all underneath here somewhere. So it uh, goes nowhere near the main body of this place. Alright, this is not. Uh, I like he's using a crate as a footstool. Okay, so. I can't seem to get behind the generator, which is. certainly problematic. Having brought the lift down, I'm gonna have to uh, make this shot again. Thankfully, it's relatively straightforward, despite being dark. And I knocked out the guards so that I would have less bother, but... This really bothers me, right? What's the generator? Oh wait. Oh, it's right there. I thought it was behind this whole, this whole thing, because there's clearly, you know, there's a void behind this thing. But no, it's right here. A strange crank. Oh, right, for the base of the statue. I don't think I've seen the statue. But when I do find the statue, I will know... Where, what to crank. Hello, Moon. Okay. Well, it wasn't an entirely wasted expedition because uh, we found that all our extra equipment and hidden entrance that we seem to cannot use from the side. 
Oh, you know what? I feel like uncomfortable leaving you there in the light, so I'm gonna take you down to a little more darkness out here. You can join your uh, friend in this patch of uh, shadow. Alrighty. Back inside. Now this time I'll try climbing up the opposite side and see if there's anything behind the banner there. God, these guys are... seem ridiculously on edge. Oh, is he going up and down these stairs? Alright, so this is the, uh, going to be the eastern side, so this is the... Oh, I haven't been to the dining hall. I have to remember to go to the dining hall. Um... Yeah, because I came from the chapel and then went out through the, out there. But, um, this will be this stairs, so this should take us down to the common room. Did I take the, uh, rope I did? Well, it's nice for me that they, uh, leave loot and equipment below the uh, stairs. Very convenient. So not not really what I'm going to need. The library should be through, through, not the library, the common room should be through here. But there's also a few too many guards and torches. But uh, in the common room is the fabulously. Surely this torch was not burnt all the way down. Fabulously valuable. Wow, this is a highway. Fabulously valuable violin. That's what I was trying to say. That uh, we can now steal. Well, we have the key to the chest here, so let us... The violin of St. Humphrey. And, uh, you know, we can lock the chest again. So they won't notice it missing. Now, is that other fellow coming this way or not? What's the notice? Thou shalt clean up the common room at day's end. Remember to lock up the valuable instruments in the music chest. St. Humphrey's violin shall never be left out when not being used. It is too valuable a relic to lose. However, St. Humphrey would wish for use to continue to use it. His favorite instrument. I am uh, severely not a fan of these doors which block no sound nor vision. I as well leave them open as close them. At least then I can see when people are coming and going. We have a stairwell down to the dining hall, okay. What is going on over there? Nothing. The builder by me if I can So that That is the fellow we saw on the ground floor at the main gate. He's not going back and forth in and out of here. He's going out of here, down the stairs, across and up these stairs. I should have left the gate locked on him. But he's given up on finding us, so that's good news.
Right, so I must be quick here or I can lock the gates. If I lock the gates, he'll... Uh, or I can hide here. Hello. Secret healing potion. Well, I'll, I'll use that right away. Thank you. Here for steps, but I don't know if it is that uh, pillow or not. Uh, so with all the uh, Deadly Shadows trappings this mission has, it's kind of disappointing that it doesn't let you uh, rub the candles to extinguish them. Which is not really a uh, thing I care for much. Like uh, a light that you just have to walk up to and press a button to put it out is a little bit pointless. And uh, unless you're really careful, we'll probably just encourage um, making not enough shadows without active interference with the lights, which would obviously break Supreme Ghosting. Possib I don't think it doesn't break, break ghost rules, but Supreme Ghost. Not that uh, missions necessarily need to be designed for Supreme Ghosting, but it is nice to at least make sure you have good shadows sufficient shadows without them. Where is this guy? Okay, he's got a much longer patrol than I thought. Here he is. Does he hang about in here or just go straight upstairs? It looks like he just goes straight upstairs. And I can now steal all the valuable uh, apples. All the valuable apples. And, uh, of course, the gold stuff. But you can't eat the gold. Alright, where to now? Let's come back up here. This is a problem because... The guard could... Bag pipes. The guard could perhaps see me through that... Door. I can't see where his patrol is, but that's all right. Footsteps, listening. That's that's what ears are for. So what are they looking over there? Is that just the courtyard? Where's our room? Can't quite see. It looks like there might be a room there, which I'm not going to get to from this side. That's for sure. All right. So up here should be the library, right? Oh wait, we've been to the library. This is the uh, bunk room is here. Objectives, let's see what we've still got to go. We've still got to find the cells. Where was the cell key? We got the key to the abbot's chest, didn't we not? No, we didn't, because we haven't been in the cells. Um, the chief guard had the cell key in his bedchamber. When he says his bedchamber, does he mean he keep, keep, keeps it up here? In the bunk room, or does he? Or does the chief guard actually have his own room? And if so, where? Hmm. What noise be that? Builder, let my hand strike true. Builder, in the work I do. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice to find. Alright. Is that the Chief Guard's bedchamber? No, that's just, uh... 
Maybe that door there. Is that the one that was locked? Dear, 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 dear. This would definitely be quicker if I was... If I was a little happier with my uh, lockpicks. It would definitely be quieter too. Art still there? So, how do I get in this door? It's not a key hunt that I am happy with. None of the keys that I have suggest that they should work. I could use my sword and make a lot of noise. But I'm going to do that, then I should probably just knock everybody out first and give up the percent of sneaking. Which, uh, you know, I'm not so keen to do. I've mostly been stealthy this far. I should keep being stealthy. Alright, so... Okay, coming or going? Nay. Was but my imagining. So this is the study room, study hall. Wait, so coming up the stairs is not where I want to go. Coming up the stairs just takes us back to the Abbot's chamber. Mm, odd noise. Sounds like squeaky hinges. Oh god, is that this? Is he coming down the stairs? Um, right. God, man, you're so annoying. You, Mr. Stare at Bricks, also annoying. Neither of you is uh, who I want to see just now. I can't actually get through over here, can I? Hurry up! Standing there, I can't get through the door. Can't go anywhere useful. Thank you. Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Where came us thou make mock of me? Show thyself. No, thinkest me only to uh I know thou dost creep around here somewhere. Oh the base of the statue one said. Hmm. I have four what arrows. It's a little bright here. It doesn't actually make it less bright. It's like a whole choir of mutterings. So every direction, noise, noise, noise. All right. Let's put the crank. St. Macarius. Oh, that's where the crank goes. God. Full moon is lighting me up like a Christmas tree, but is uh, not itself. Oh, there's the hammer of Saint Macarius. Um, can't close it again. Dang! Well, I should have knocked everybody out. 
seems to it seems like it would have been a better plan. Chief Guards Chamber Key, that is just what I needed, thank you. Uh, no, another purse I had not seen. You know what, you can join the fun. I am losing patience with your all your mutterings and mumblings and hummings that are constantly in my ears. It takes uh, far greater patience, it seems, to be a Hammerite uh, than I have. Can I get across the noisy way? I can. Cool. Now, where was the Chief Guard's chamber? Northern end. Or was it? No, it was southeast. Third floor. Uh, well, I should have kept going the way I was going. Should have kept going the way I was going then, to the stairs up here, and then back down. Perhaps my ears do trick me. Perhaps so. There is a time. For patience and stealth, and there is a time when one must realize that patience and stealth are no longer of any use. No longer of any interest, even. Alright, what have we got? A locked selkie. Chief of the Guard, with the recent robberies to our monastery, I shall be leaving for the city before the sunrise. The brothers there possess the numbers needed to improve our strength. I will be gone for only a few nights. The only regrettable part of this is that my wand is secured in my chest, and that the recent thief hath stolen the key. Keep the relics safe whilst I am gone. Pray to the Builder for our continued safety from thievery. The High Abbot. The thief locked in our dungeons refuses to reveal who hired him. I attempted to persuade him with my cudgel. However, the thief, already weakened from his plunge off the tower, was able not to survive. We have confiscated his equipment and destroyed it, and returned to our monastery the relics and treasures that he did steal. However, the key to the abbot's secure chest was recovered not among the thief's possessions. Tis it possible that he still possessed the key? Alright, so the guy we saw in the abbot's chamber... Oh, hello, ring and some coins. The guy we saw in the abbot's chamber was not the abbot, as he did not look abbot-y. He's the abbot's way. This makes sense. Now, we have the cell key. You know what, I really should try these tranquilizer darts. That's pretty, pretty good actually. Well, you're not the uh, guard who belongs here, but you can be there and get in trouble for it. Alright, um, back to... You know what, I've started the spree. I should finish it properly. Hmm. What makes that sound? This. Well, back down to the ground floor and the, said, and the dungeons. Uh, that's that's the. You ask it, what was that I heard? Oh, it's you. <coughs> We've had enough mutterings and mumblings, and it's time just to clean up all this <coughs> rabble. Um, I want to be on this floor. Do I? Ah, oh, yes, you've built your place with the 
lower half of the staircase at the opposite end to the upper half. I thought I saw something here, but it's no, it's just this plate on under the candle. I do wonder if everybody's now asleep. I've uh, knocked out half of them through accidental uh, encounterings, and the other half through pure intent. Good news is, it's much quieter. My ears be no longer bothered. Where's the silky? A locked cell key. We have two locked cells to uh, unlock. No. That was one of them, okay. You be not but bones now. Guest on the red skull. Find out what happened to him. Okay, we found his skull. Alright, guest on the red. Got caught and never came back, but he is not the one that uh, stole the high priest's chest key. That'll be the fellow in the uh, one of these cells. Which one? This one. Yep. He is just a corpse now, but he hid the key in his cell. Good. You know, let's uh, make sure we lock things up after it, and then maybe maybe he'll come back as an undead to bother these people after I'm gone. Because they won't have the key. And by the time they break the lock open, he shall be moaning and stumbling and generally making himself a nuisance for these fine fellows. All right, back up to the to this floor, and across to the other side, and back up and up the next set of floor stairs. And oh, oh no! And back across again because we're trying to get to the abbot's chamber. Oh, you know, I should probably just give up this habit of closing the doors behind me now. But it is too late for that nonsense. We're here in the abbot's chamber. We have his his chest key somewhere. Somewhere. Now to be on my way. The high abbot's wand. Uh, so we have everything we came for, it seems. Good, good. Well, we didn't use most of our equipment. How about we leave a nice surprise here for the High Abbot? And of course, lock the door so they don't get out by accident. And what else? Well, we don't need our flares, we can burn that out. Uh, I never use my flash bombs, I never use my gas bombs. I just realized I have gas bombs. I was thinking, do I have gas arrows? No, I've got gas bombs. You know, if somebody uh, was to suddenly surprise me, I could just go, hey -ya! And uh, slightly choke. And did that put out the light? I think that put out the light. Oh, okay, that's... Uh, Rather late to discover it that it's powerful, but um, you know. Guess on the red skull, I like carrying people's skulls around. Hammer, the violin, the scriptures of the master builder, and the high priest's wand. Flask of flammable oil we did not use. So how does this function? Well, I'm not sure how it inflames. Certainly not slippery. I don't have anything in the way of... Oh, I guess the flares would ignite it, but I used them all. Uh, Alright, I guess that's my mistake. And the tranquilizer dart. 
Back to the caverns we started in. Which was... Other side. Well, I know where to use my flash bombs, so... Let's blind myself. Everybody is sleeping peacefully. We have stolen all the loot with only a small amount of trouble. Uh, and that was finding the chief guard, basically. So it's time... for us to take the lift back down. You know, if I really wanted to prank them all, I would carry them all down here, take them all down the lift, leave them on the ground floor, with this lift, which can only be controlled from up here, also on the ground floor. I'm sure that would please them, humour them greatly. Hamarites have a great sense of humour, they uh, appreciate practical tricks of all kinds. Very much. <coughs> Oops. Well, and out we go. Third time was indeed the charm. We uh, stole 2,800 out, uh, 2, out of a total of 3,000, so very close to the max. We missed three secrets. That's, uh, I guess, so very well hidden. Or a, well, as proven, very blind. I guess one of them, we found that hidden entrance. I don't know where that goes because I never found a way to open it. So that's probably one of the secrets. Um, maybe you can, maybe the way to open it is actually on the inside and that leads you into the caves where you can find the stuff. And maybe there's a way to open it from the caves and I've been blind, or maybe there isn't. Doesn't matter. But uh, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me here for the next mission.